Wii U, Wii U is an emergency! For real, for once, one sec, actually, one sec, hold up. Okay, two, we have two copyright strikes. What's a copyright strike? That doesn't really matter, they're just really bad. If you get three of them in a three month time span, your channel gets taken down. I just got two this morning. Well, they start April 2nd, okay? So let me explain really quick. If you don't want to hear this, uh, skip. Press the uh, the thing if you're like on a iPad, double, double press. It'll do 10 seconds, okay? Do that shit, or, or stay and watch. So randomly, this company, so randomly there's this company that started flagging, you know the guys who like grannies a lot, so they started flagging those, like copyright claiming them, and I would fight them as usual. And right now I just got a thing like, or, or a couple days ago, you can fight it because they're like, nah, that's still ours, we still want the money for that. They Copyright claim takes the money for the video, that happens to me all the time. And I got an email back and they're like, no, no, it's still ours, even though it's legally his right to do it. It's, it's still our money, fair use, nah, we don't care. So then I filed another appeal, because you can appeal it again, and then they just said, hey, either cancel the appeal and take down the videos, or you're getting two copyright strikes on April 2nd, and I'm not taking down the videos. And they're not taking my money, man, fair use. Like, that's the law, that's my work, they're not taking my money, they're not, they're not gonna push me around, it's not happening. But, I have, Two of them, so that means the channel can be taken down, this main channel. I have a second channel. It's called Poppy Plus. Uh, I'll be posting, like, I usually do podcasts on that channel, but I'll probably be posting, the, like, these videos there if this channel gets taken down. That's where the videos will be. And this is extra bad because I just signed a lease for an apartment in Chicago. Like, I totally get it. It's not good to rely on just YouTube. And I don't. We have Patreon. But that's totally not enough to cover if this channel was removed whatsoever. So patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. If you want to help support this channel, you can do anywhere from a dollar up to as much as you'd like. So $10 million a month if you want, I'll take it. But honestly, if you can't, it's totally fine. This isn't like me begging for money or anything like that. I totally understand. But I will ask you to share these videos around, share the channel, tell your friends, I don't know, like tell everybody you can. Word of mouth is really, really important, believe it or not. So that, that works just as much, for real. So thank you guys so much for all the support. We've gone through this before, but I have this feeling that this one's gonna be a little bit different for some reason, and that's not good. Like, I got a bad feeling. Like, in the end, I think it'll work out in our favor, but I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a hassle, is my best guess. And I think it's totally worth it, right? At least to me it is. Standing up for fair use is totally worth it. Because if I just back down, then they can just do this continuously to other people, and that's not fucking okay. So sorry for the really long intro. I know you guys hate when I talk about that shit. I totally could have made a separate video about it, but, you know, I thought I, I am, I am. I'm gonna talk about it on the second channel, but I thought I'd just give you guys a little heads up. Because that's kind of a big deal. This is my life. Let's tear some cunts apart, shall we? You look sexy, bitch. You look like a boy, bitch! Who is this? I was looking for an American man. Frog. Frog. I was wrong. Kind of like a skeleton, actually. I'm just saying that because she's thinner than I am. That's what us ladies do. Because money is important to me. Oh wait, that's why you're looking for an American man? Hmm. I mean, maybe, I guess. Every American man I've met is fucking trash, including me. And poor. Very poor. Okay, so was that, I don't know, was that the same girl? Was that the girl for Tariq Tarek? Tariq. Age 43, man, black don't crack. You look 14. Hello, Tokyo. Oh, wait, he's the one. Is he the one meeting the sexy boy? Ah, oh, Tokyo, yeah. That boy was definitely from Tokyo. Traps aren't gay. I'm flying to Manila in the Philippines. <laughs> Not 14 at all. Ooh, definitely 43. To meet the woman who is my soulmate. The red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. For the first time ever. Hey, look, I'm double stepping and running for you. But your name's Hazel? My eyes are Hazel. Hmm, I don't like her. I've got five connecting flights. It's gonna take me two days to get there, but she's worth all the trouble. Her name is Hazel. I see why you like her, man, because, like, she looks good in that picture. Like, that would fool most men. Like, that's an Instagram girl right there. Guys, if you like a hot girl on Instagram, don't. I met her online just a few weeks ago. She's 25, really beautiful. She looks like an Asian version 
of Angelina Jolie. Oh, and all of that fucking adds up to you? You don't think anything bad is gonna happen? Look at you, man. Like, look at that shit here. You have a double chin. At the age of 14, bro. So did I, though, to be honest. She's just so kind. I've never felt this way about anyone, ever. In two weeks. You've probably said the same shit about a new barber until he fucked up a lineup. In my life. This is what crazy men do. I gotta catch this flight. This is costing me a pretty penny. Don't be fucking vague with me. How much? I didn't know. I need to know how much that pussy is worth. When they tell me how much they spend on a person, I feel really good. Cause I would never do that ever. Like I hope nothing happens to him cause he's fucked. I won't even walk him for free. And it's the furthest I've ever been from home and the longest I've ever been away from my daughter. Oh wow. How is your daughter gonna explain that one? Cause this one's all over the fucking television. Her face isn't even blurred out. Hey, heard your dad left you for some Japanese boy pussy. Yeah, so? That shit was tight. I heard. I think I'm getting sick, man. Uh. I'm putting so much on the line for a woman who I've never met before. Doesn't that seem like a fucking problem? You know how badly this guy has probably talked about women in his past like, man, I'd ne I would never do shit for another bitch. And then... Before I left the U.S., Hazel was acting a little weird. And you got on that fucking plane? Okie dokie, artichokey. I hope that plane crashes after you get off so you can't come back. And she rejected the call. Or, or, or she has a penis. And then you just stay with her. I'm a man, Jerry. I'll try anything once. So, unfortunately... Oh! Oh, that's what you fucking look like. You look like a fat Zach Fox. My brother thinks Hazel is just using me. She's got very good game. No, oh, she probably thinks you're Zach Fox. That dude's hilarious. A con artist is a con artist. You gotta be real with yourself, man. What? Look at those chubby ass man titties. You think she's gonna suck on those? I really hope that I'm not just one of many suckers that she's been talking to. Yeah, man, you should at least like go to a nail salon first. See if you could put up with it. Every time I leave from getting my nails done, I always check to see if they talk shit about my tip. Not of my cock, but like the tip I give them. No, I don't care what you say about my penis, okay? If you saw it, I probably won. This is leg four or five. Good night, good night. Got one left. My final connection is in Bangkok, Thailand. Isn't it funny how like he could have vlogged this himself? and probably made more. TLC is probably like, you cannot put any of the footage up on the internet or make money from it at all, bitch. I met my ex here. We dated for a while, but it didn't work out. Are you fucking joking, Zach? Why again? Why? Oh, it failed the first time, so it's at least gotta happen once more. You just want pussy before you die? I think this guy wants to fuck a dude on accident. It's a little weird to be back, but under different circumstances. How the fuck is it different? Oh, you met that one in person, then this one online? Awesome. He's so lucky, I usually don't get to meet the people that make my products. The airline screwed my ticket up. My seat's not confirmed to the Philippines. I've got to buy a new ticket, and I'm going to be stuck here for around 11 hours. Is that really that bad? Like, really? If I was someone I'd be like, you know what? If I just fucking survive five flights in a week, I'll be fine. Like, I would be like, I, I would be pretty scared. Your chances rise every time you step onto the next plane. I get that the chances are pretty low to begin with, but still, I'd be like, it's gonna fucking happen, isn't it? On the way home from California last year, there's a lot of turbulence, okay? Because it went like up, down, up. Like, that's what turbulence is. So I looked at my friend and I was like, we're gonna fucking die. I will take two more shots, thanks. Just waiting in the airport terminal. Nervous stomach kind of turning. Sounds like he needs two shots. And rushing to the very last flight. Just can't wait to see her. Wow, this is the worst fucking vlog I've ever seen in my entire life, Black Casey Neistat. Why did they just give him a camera? Why did they just put this in his hands? Have one of your people follow him around with a small camera. I mean, they don't care. 
I don't care either. They, they probably thought this guy was gonna die. <laughs> like, they don't care at all. I know it'll be all worth it. Yeah, that's, that's the footage I wanna see. That was really good. Great at that, actually. I lied. After two days of traveling, I finally made it to Manila to meet Hazel for the very first time. Not one of your fucking friends is gonna believe that. They would probably believe that you sucked Michael Jordan's dick before they believe that. Yeah, I, I, I met uh, this really hot model-looking Tokyo bitch named Hazel in Manila. She lived in Manila. I drove, I flew to Manila. Five flights to Manila and I fucked Hazel. Sounds like you took a ton of acid and read a fucking book. I think Hazel would make a good wife and stepmom. So this could be the moment that changes my life, like forever. This is the moment of truth. I hope she's on the other side of this gate. If she's not, I'm gonna scream. I'm going for it. How long is this fucking episode? Jeez, what, you're going for what? What, not pulling out? You better not pull out ever. You're 43, man, that shit's over. 24 hours earlier, it shows her getting her penis removed or enlarged, probably enlarged. I am Hazel. I am 25 years old. I am also a lizard. We're taking over the planet. This is how we are coming out. I bet you knowing all of that, he would still fuck her. Like if her eyes closed the opposite way, like sideways, he'd be like, that's kind of hot. That's exotic. I am living in Manila, Philippines. I met Tariq online. I was looking for an American man because I'm just a poor girl. My life is hard. It's so funny that there's a GoPro in that little car. How does that guy driving that feel that that camera is worth more than him? I work 10 hours a day for a little money. Eh, where's Sarah McLaughlin? You want me to donate? What the fuck? We could use a little bit of her singing, like get your own 90 day fiance. Get to have sex with them sometimes and they could be fat as shit, but you still get to fuck and get made fun of. A lot. I want better life. When I first saw his picture, I thought he was handsome. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh at your own jokes. Hello, sorry. I miss you. I didn't know Apple gave every one of their employees an iPhone. I love you. Money is important to me. He has a big house. Comparatively! Just wait. You're gonna fucking hate that shit. It'll take you about seven days before you're begging to go back to the land of hentai. And a good job. And I've been searching for this all my life. I have a son, he's six years old. Imagine what that fucking looked like. Her pregnant six years ago. She was probably this tall. Like, the, not the height of him. Like, this was her size and she's like, oh. A perfect sphere. And he lives with his father because I have no money if I have better in life. I want to get my son again. But Tariq, he's coming here now, so I hope it will be work out with him. Does he know this shit? I'm gonna go with no. I think he just thinks you're fucking hot. Like, could you imagine that's what's going through? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get this dime Instagram bitch. She's gonna bring in the money. I'm not gonna work at all. You get fucking Cinderella before the glass slipper, before and nothing good, right? She was poor. She was like scrubbing the ground and shit. Pretty sure Cinderella was hot though. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to titty fuck her, definitely. Mommy's <laughs> like, you look sexy, bitch. This is your moment, okay? Make a face. Something, show us what you got. Use those programming skills and make a, a cute little face out of all the symbols. Speak in Japanese. Do something cute like... She didn't even fucking say meow! 
tarik. You think she said meow? You better grab your katana and hitch a fucking ride. That would be fucking awesome. You guys could duel it out. That's insensitive, okay? They don't fight with katanas. They type it out. I will outcode you! Do you think the cameraman give away anything? Like, if he actually picked her up, would the cameraman be laughing? Like, <laughs> I can't tell you shit like a... His story is suspicious. It is hard to trust a man that I never met. So he's coming over and picking your ass up. Right on. I am worried if Tariq choose his ex over me. Is she fucking hot? Then yeah, probably. It's my only chance to leave the Philippines. So I hope he is serious about me. There's probably some men who could see this, see what you just said and still be like, yeah. Mark probably would. Like Nikki and Mark, if once he kills her and eats her body, you're next. Well, that was long as shit. You're so welcome. I think maybe it looks like it. Hi, puppy. How are you doing? Were you taking a little nap? Mwah. Let's recap really quick. Do you think he just has a broken iPhone and that's why he's taking her over? He's like, I'm not paying shit. It's way cheaper to get her here. And I can just start a business of fixing phones. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Smack that face right there to subscribe if you haven't already. Two goddamn videos right over there. And go sub to the other channel and patreon.com slash whiteboxpoppy if you guys want. But definitely second channel. Go check that out. Poppy Plus. All right, links for everything down below, like I said. I love you. Kiss me, you sweet little pup. Mm -hmm.